Hello, in the, this part of the video we will uh, download PLEAP. So, we just download the folder and uh, you can find this URL in the manual or on the, uh, the website. You press, you select it, press the download option and uh, I'll want to extract this in my documents folder. Now I'm still inside of the uh, Pi uh, account, not inside of the public account, that comes later. You right click it and you select extract here. You can now delete the zip file. Next up we'll open uh, PLEAP, oh no, we'll first have to set the uh, file permissions. So you right click it, go to properties and just verify if it says anyone, only owner and anyone. If so, press OK, if not, set it to them. Open it. Next up, you'll have to select the three folders. You right click one of the selected folders. You select, again, properties, go to permissions. And it should be the same, anyone, only owner and anyone. Now press OK. Finally, we'll have to make sure that our Python files are in the working order. Now, there are two Python files we have to check. First one is pleep.piw, this is the main program. Right click, right click it, go to properties, permissions, and it should say anyone, only owner, and nobody. You click OK if that's the case, if not, set it to that. Finally, we have to look at the tools, and there are two tools. You select them both right click them properties and it should say the same things the content should be viewable to anyone changing the content sh should be limited to the owner and the execution of the content sh should be limited to nobody which is kind of the way Linux works press OK if that's the case and uh, all the file permissions are now set next up we'll have to configure our uh, libwide ini file. So the libwide ini file is the file that saves the settings for uh, the PLEAP program on a library wide level. There's also a device.ini file and that file saves the variables that are for the uh, device itself. So these, that uh, file has to be configured every time for each single node. Go to configuration. Look at look for the file that says first and then libwide configuration. Double click it. And it's it will prompt you three times. The first time it will ask you for the internet address of libraries catalog. And you just type in the the catalog address. Don't have one no one out of my head. Now you can add http the uh, double score uh, forward slash uh, at the beginning, but it isn't needed. The program will do that for you. So just type in www and then the rest of the URL. Next it will ask you the IP address of the PLEAP server. Now I've asked you to write it down. Uh, in a previous part of the manual. In case you haven't written it down, you can just uh, boot up your server and look for the IP. Uh, you provide it inside the node, you press enter and then it, the node will ask you again for the master password. I'll just use a password uh, test and uh, press enter. Now it's asking me if I want to verify this. You can press Y, it will then open up uh, the text window or you can press no, it will then close. Now I will press Y and I'll show you something. The password was test, correct? If I open up my uh, libwide.ini file, you can see that all of the settings that I've written inside of my terminal are present in here, except for my password. My password has been uh, stored as a cipher, which means that uh, a visitor of the library cannot just open up uh, the libwide.ini file and uh, take the key or take the password. The password is actually more or less encrypted in that file. We can then close everything 
and that's it. Uh, in the next video we shall hang on. Oh yeah, we will create uh, the shortcut for our uh, program.